It's hard to sleep at night going through this and worrying about her. My granddaughter went to a slumber party. She was doing some inappropriate stuff to another child at the slumber party. I was informed that she pulled down another little girl's panties and my first thought is possibly molestation. My family waited two days to tell me. I should have been called immediately, you know, to question my daughter myself. Instead, um, my mom questioned her. And I questioned her about what happened, and she said that I learned it by myself. A girl her age would not know how to do this by herself. She's just a little child. So I sat my granddaughter down and I listed all the people that was in her life. When I got to the last person and asked if Papa touched you private, she shook her head yes and started crying. Papa is my girlfriend's dad, Curtis. She was told not to tell and that her daddy would be mad at her if she said what happened. There was other things that was shocking that she had said, that she had to learn to do this, and she had to learn to do it right, because this is what some boys and girls do. So that really worried me a lot more. I got in contact with my son, Aaron. His first reaction was a good dad reaction, and he was really mad, and he said he believed her. She's telling the truth. I was pretty angry. And one of the questions that ran through my head is why did it take so long for anybody to tell me? He spoke with his girlfriend, Cassidy, and she said my dad would not do that. And then he was suddenly convinced that Curtis is innocent of this action. So my daughter told me that she was scared and that grandma kept asking her over and over again and saying that somebody had to touch you. I asked her if anybody's ever touched her inappropriately. She said, no, Daddy, nobody's ever touched me. Now my son thinks that I coerced her into saying that, and I never did. My daughter said she doesn't know why she lied to Grandma. She told me that she learned it off of uh, YouTube and TV. I love my son, but I have to put a child first before my son. I have to protect my granddaughter. My mom thinks that I'm choosing my girlfriend's family over her family, but that's not the case. When I think about her and what she could be going through, that's what tears me apart. And it's easy to cry on that part when I think about her. I wouldn't coach her because I don't want to hurt my granddaughter. I want to protect her. I would never put my daughter in harm's way if I thought anything was wrong. I kept Curtis away for two months while the police did their investigation, while CPS did their investigation. CPS has dropped their case. The detectives has dropped their case. Uh, so I don't see any reason why he shouldn't be around my daughter. I've contacted CPS to close the case. I was looking for other alternatives to get help. My mom's the only one that has heard these allegations from my daughter. She has not said them to me. She's not said them to Cassidy. She's not said them to the detectives or to her counselor. I haven't seen my granddaughter in three months since this occurred, and it just tears me apart not being able to see my granddaughter. She needs her family. My mom says that I haven't let her see my daughter or talk to my daughter, but I just haven't been letting my daughter go anywhere. I am upset with Aaron. I am disappointed that he is believing Curtis over my word. I need a lie detector test to prove Curtis is innocent, that he is not molesting my daughter. And I need to stop being harassed by my family. Today, I need to show that I did not coach my granddaughter to do this. I need to know if my granddaughter was molested. So, 
when we when my stepdaughter went to the slumber party, um, she was actually there for a three full days, and the first night was a slumber party. From my understanding, there was eleven little girls in one room alone, not unattended. And then Sunday morning, five in the morning, they woke up from a scream from my stepdaughter. I don't know if Teresa went there Sunday or Monday, but we didn't find out about this till Tuesday morning. She was telling the whole family before she told us. She didn't call the police. She didn't do anything besides harass us and say, we need to call the police. There's a two-day gap. We don't know about that two-day gap of Did what- Did you ever ask uh, Teresa why she waited two days? They didn't know how to handle the situation, apparently. They didn't know how to tell Aaron. So Tuesday morning, you know, he picks her up, he talks to her. She says, no, Papa has never touched me. Grandma was scaring me. She was asking me a lot of questions. She did not believe me that I did learn it by myself. She means you, internet, YouTube. Of course I was on the phone with my dad. You, you do this, I'm gonna throw you in jail. Like, you know, I was raised by this man. He raised three little beautiful girls and I'm one of them. My father was always there. Any chance that Teresa coached your daughter? I your feel like it was an accident. I don't feel like she purposely coached her. But, you know, from my understanding, my stepdaughter said she didn't believe me. She, Ma, Grandma didn't believe me when I said I learned it by myself. And Grandma said, someone have had to touch you. And I know that sounds like coaching. And we've talked to her multiple times. She's never confirmed this happened. So was your dad around the little girl? Like, I, I was told that he gives her baths. No, he does not give her baths. That is definitely a lie, because I'm in this situation. I'm a stepmom. Ever? Did he ever give her a bath? No, he never, he draws the baths. There's a difference. He runs the bath, he puts the toys in the tub, and he leaves her alone. He are, are you at home at this yes, time? Yes, I'm watching the whole thing. I'm, I'm there. You did not protect my dog, my niece, Cassidy. You did not protect her. I did. Her. I no, took her to the hospital. You I called not. the officer. My mom told no, you to call no, the police. She, yes, she no, did, she did not. Yes, I was she did. talking my to Erin. My mom Aaron. told her to. No, anyways, she did not. Why is your dad giving her a bath? You she does, he does me. not give her a bath. No, you're a damn liar. No, he doesn't. Don't call me a liar. What do you believe happened? I believe that he touched my niece. Her father. I, her father, yes, because when when they were at the slumber party, and what she did is not something she would learn. She the one. Oh hold my on. god! Okay, hold on. Yeah. hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What? Yeah. Tell me what happened. So I got a call. I was at work. I got a call. From she said, my niece had acted out with another child. She said, well, I told Cassidy to call the police. I told her that it will look better if she calls. But if your mom has the granddaughter and the granddaughter tells her this happened, why wouldn't she just call the police? Right? Because exactly. she didn't want the kids taken away. I explained to my granddaughter very cautiously. I said, I told her about good touches and I kissed her on the head. And I said, this is a good touch. And then I held her hand and I said, this is a good touch. And then I went on to explain to her about bad touches so that she would understand what I was talking about. And I asked her what happened and she went on to say, I, I taught myself. And then she named another little tiny child younger than her and said that that child Taught her, and I said, no, that child's just a baby. That child did not teach you this. And she said, if I say, then daddy will be mad at me. And that was my first, like, oh no. Then after that, she said, I realized that she wasn't going to sit, tell me exactly what was going on, that she feared to tell me. And I said, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you some names. And if they touch your private, I want you to shake your head yes. If they did not touch your private, I want you to shake your head no. So I went through a whole list of names of men that was around her. So when I went through the list of names, 
when I got to Curtis, which she calls Popeyes, I said, did t Papa touch your private? All of a sudden, she started crying. You deemed it okay to tell somebody, a family member. Mm -hmm. Then you deemed it necessary to wait to tell your son. Mm -hmm. And you didn't want Cassie to know. But when you did let Cassie know, Cassie was the first one to call the police on her dad. She, the only reason, she was not going to do that. The only reason why she called the police is because I got on the phone with her. Well, you didn't I, force I, her to call the police. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got on the phone and I said, Cassidy, the CPS is going to be involved. There's a sheriff that knows about it because there was a sheriff that was informed. She said, well, we'll do it tomorrow. Aaron's sleeping and on and on. I said, no, you do it now. And if you don't, I'm going to call and I'm going to make sure that you had called the police. Why didn't you just call? Uh, because I wanted... Mm -hmm. You deemed it okay to wait a day. Mm -hmm. And if she's saying she wanted to wait a day, what's the difference? Um, and did the police ever talk to you? Yes. I've and what did they tell you? They, uh, the detective, after she went through her forensic interview, he came out and he, he said, I'll give you a call later. And I, I said, what does that mean? It, you know, like kind of... We'll give you a call where, and he said, everything's okay. okay. He said, everything's okay. Did, did you ever tell you it was closed, investigation? The CPS did. Okay. Why do you think you're being accused? I think that there's a need not being fulfilled here in this family. I would focus on Teresa's life not being connected with Aaron and these children. And somehow, no matter how this plays out, I guess I'm the vocal point because I am a mess in this. I am totally up into it. Because you're involved in your daughter's life. But it's been the grandchildren that I've been focusing on. But, but she said you raised her. You've been yeah. there for a whole I life. I did. I raised the last four children when I got sober 22 years ago. And I haven't looked back. <laughs> Anybody that comes at something like this this hard... Without calling the police. You, Somebody who cares listen, about her... Well, I'm going to say... Uh, hold on, hold on. I was the but one I do want to say CPS, this. Yes, so I was we're the all, first one, not we're all, you. Hey, we're all here because we are going to put some stock in this light right. detector test, yes. right? Now, Curtis came here... And he took a lie detector test. And we asked him, have you ever had any physical contact with that child for your own sexual gratification? Curtis answered no. The results for his lie detector test is that he did not tell the truth. <laughs> Dan gives a thorough examination. We only read the question that's pertinent to the story and the simple and basic fact of, did you molest this child? He answered no. He did not tell the truth. But I did. I did not no, do that. You did. Tell me you did. I'm telling yes, you, I did not. No. There's something wrong, but I did not do that. I, did I don't even not. want to touch I'm you right now. I'm not going that really? going back. Whoa, whoa, are you whoa. Serious? Aaron. Where are you going? Oh. I want you to be mad. <laughs> I want you to be mad. <laughs> now, I'm going to ask you another question. You gonna take Cassidy's side this time? Or you gonna take your daughter's side this time? It's not my side, I'm just... Why are the two different results? The forensic medicine said they One no... result was that somebody was telling the truth and the other result was that you failed because you molested that little girl. That's not yeah. true. You are weak. that likes to talk in circles. No. Nope. Yeah. And when you talk in circles, you never get a straight answer. Right. And why don't you want to give a straight answer? Because he's Because you're liar. usually guilty. Yeah. yeah. So all they I can guilty. say is, when they go home, I hope the police you can't either reopen this case it's not or right. keep it open. Yes, I can. And they lock you your can. ass up My and the remaining days you have me. on this planet, you'll be behind bars. This did My not happen. It did not happen. If he didn't, that little girl's never going to get justice. Not I from know. her father. No. And that's why right. I was so mad at him. Right. Because if you're not willing to stand up for your own children, mm -hmm. what kind of man are you?
Exactly. Thank you for coming. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's gonna watch this and say, you know what, she was brave enough to do that, I can do that too. Do you want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show? Visit the link in the description to get my help.